Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll share my opinion on what are the top five highly paid DevOps skills in 2024. I'm making this video because many of you have asked for it. But let me make it clear the five skills that I'm going to share in today's video are highly paid skills in my opinion, but these are not the mandatory or required DevOps skills. If you are a DevOps aspirant targeting DevOps roles in 2024, then please watch my DevOps roadmap as well as mandatory DevOps skills videos. The links to those videos are in the description. Okay, let's go back to the topic for today. I have five skills on my list and number one is containers and their orchestration. You might be surprised that Abhishek containers and their orchestration is a mandatory skill. Why do you have it as a highly paid DevOps skill in your five skills? So the answer to this question is containers and their orchestration, preferably through Docker and Kubernetes. This space is constantly evolving. Of course, many people know how to use Docker and Kubernetes, but still there is a lot of complexity in setting up customer environments, or there is a lot of complexity in migrating legacy applications to containers and making them cloud native. So this skill is going to play a very critical role in 2024 as well, in my opinion. And there are a lot of enhancements and there are a lot of new features coming up from both Docker and Kubernetes. So I feel that this is one of the skills that you should definitely have, and it's going to pay you very good in 2024. Number two on my list today is GitOps. I spoke about GitOps multiple times on this channel. We have made a lot of videos on GitOps and Argo CD. We have also dedicated a playlist on GitOps. And I strongly believe that GitOps is going to be a very highly paying skill in 2024 because these days people are moving towards declarative architecture, declarative applications, declarative infrastructure definition. So GitOps is going to play a critical role and there are a lot of GitOps tools in the market. If you ask me, I would personally prefer Argo CD on top of other GitOps tools and having this skill, you will definitely not regret. And for sure, this skill is going to make a lot of difference in 2024. Number three on my list today is Golang. Golang is yet another programming language. Yeah, people who are new to DevOps who are watching this video might be thinking, but Abhishek, I'm not good at programming. It's one of the reasons why I have choose DevOps. Yeah, uh, you don't have to code as much as developers do in the field of DevOps, but all the DevOps tools, uh, the complete ecosystem of DevOps that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, most of these applications are written in Golang. It can be Kubernetes, it can be Docker, it can be Prometheus, it can be Terraform. So if you want to enhance these things, you want to contribute back to them, or let's say you want to write some custom Kubernetes cluster uh, controllers, you want to write some reconciliation logic. In any of these cases, Golang is going to be very handy for you. Even if you are an aspiring site reliability engineer, Golang is something that you should watch out for. And it's number three on my list. Number four on my list is Python. Of course, some of you might already know Python and some of you might be worried that Abhishek, I just know shell scripting and now we are talking about Python. So Python is an ocean. Python has its hands and legs in various fields. It's, it's everywhere these days. Python is used in ML, Python is used in AI. So as a DevOps engineer, you should know how much Python you need to learn. So if you are looking for some suggestions, you can check out my Python for DevOps playlist. And with knowledge on Python, not just on shell scripting, you can do a lot of automation, you can make API calls, you can talk to third party applications. And as a DevOps engineer, you can automate most of the things using Python. Not just that, the configuration languages like Ansible are written in Python. Even if you want to write a module for your uh, tool in Ansible, Python is going to be handy. So Python is number four on my list today. Number five on my list today is 
prompt engineering. Many of you might be surprised about this one on my list, but prompt engineering with the advancement of generative AI, large language models, the industry is going to get changed. And I'm not saying that you need to have a lot of knowledge on generative AI, large language models, or writing your own GPTs at this point of time, but at least you should have knowledge on prompt engineering because I personally feel uh, this is going to improve the efficiency of DevOps engineer. I've made a video on Kubia a uh, couple of weeks back. I also showed you how to use prompt engineering and I showed you how it improves the efficiency, not just as a DevOps engineer, but I feel in everything that you're doing. So prompt engineering is a skill that can help you be more efficient. So as the organizations understand that prompt engineering is going to play a critical role, they might also add this kind of skills to the job descriptions. So having this skill, personally, I feel might help you getting a high paying job, not just as a DevOps engineer, but whatever you are doing. So these are five skills that I have on my list today. Again, I'm telling you, these are not the mandatory skills that you need to have, but these skills might pay you a lot. If you want to learn GitOps, I already have uh, a GitOps playlist on the channel, which is beginner friendly. We have made three videos. I'm going to make more, but definitely that can help you uh, onboard and get started with GitOps. If you want to learn Python, then we already have Python for DevOps playlist. If you want to learn Golang, of course, I don't have a lot of Golang videos, but I've just explained the significance of Golang for DevOps engineer. I'll try to put that video link also in the description, but Golang is pretty easy to learn. You can just go to this website called Go by Examples, and you can start learning Go from there. And there are a lot of playgrounds for Go. If you want to set up a sandbox environment and start trying things, you can search for Go Playground and use that as well. So I'll try to put all of these links in the description. If you're wondering where can I learn all of these technologies and tools. Finally, talking about prompt engineering, there are a lot of LinkedIn courses and personally, I'll put one of my favorites in the description as well. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for any such videos outside learning new DevOps skills, if you want to understand or if you are curious about what are the top five skills, or if you want to understand the roadmaps for a particular topic in DevOps, do let me know in the comment section. I'm more than happy to make such videos once in a while. Take care everyone. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.